Good day, peeps. Welcome to the Sheena and Sheila show. And this is kind of a little special show because today it's Sheena's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Well, it's actually, it's her birthday at, in her land. Over here in uh, the U.S., it's not till tomorrow. So you'll be celebrating most in your happy birthday until tomorrow <laughs> thank you so much it's so lovely to see you and welcome everybody and for anybody who hasn't seen our shows before um, we are very dear soul kin sheila and myself we've known each other for eons in spirit and it's just been a sheer joy and delight to connect with each other in the earth realm <laughs> and we do never plan our shows um we, um, we, we go with how best we're guided. And my, my saying to everybody is, please only ever take into your heart what feels right for you. We only share this knowledge with you. Um, and I work with the, the angelic realm. And the word angels for me means messenger. Um, and so we're, we're working through the different archangels and just sharing that knowledge with you. They are pure consciousness for me. Uh, <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it and, uh, and remember to laugh with like we do. <laughs> right. You know, um, Sheena has been working on her, her healing center. Uh, well, actually, ever since we've met. You've just been working on that. You haven't even been doing any of your your projects. It's just been it's just been such a huge project, and she's in there now, and and she's kind of like nervous because it's a mess. But but <laughs> I'm telling you, whenever this gets all done, we're going to do a show just on her just on her healing center project because oh, it you. is um, it is amazing, and I've been able to watch her do this and. Uh, you know, from afar, and it's just been amazing, and it, I'm so proud of you for oh. what you have done all on your own. <laughs> it has been. I've had a few tears and tantrums, <laughs> and uh, I watched uh, Grand Design. It's one of my favorite shows. Even though my project's been a very small scale, it helped prepare me in the earth realm for all the... Uh, major things that you know hold you up in any type of construction and you know to deal with the elementals and because i'm on the ridge here i'm on the ridge of the great dividing range in new south wales of course we get you know 100 kilometer winds and uh, we get snow up here um but um Yes, yeah, so the elementals have had a lot of fun. Uh, and just when you think you're going to get a clear run, they decide to send you a storm or you don't get electricity because I'm on solar. Yeah, no, I felt like a little house on the prairie, yeah. <laughs> but on a hill, yeah, on a mountain because we're 1,100 1, feet. I oh, know, 1,100 metres above sea level. So the Great Dividing Range runs from north to south of Australia along the coast. And I'm inland from the Blue Mountains, which run east to west. And so when you come to the edge of the Blue Mountains at Mount Victoria Pass, you drop down into one of the largest valleys in the world. It's the, um, it's, the valley is actually bigger than the Grand Canyon. Wow. Yeah, um, a lot of people don't know that. So there's the, uh, one of the valleys is called the Canimbula Valley. And so you go through that valley and then you come up to the Great Dividing Range. And my road, Hampton, uh, where I live, is the actual ridge of the Great Dividing Range. Wow. And it, when the water hits this range, part of the water splits. It's um, a sacred land. The Aboriginals call it a sacred land because it's where the water hits the peak. Now, one half of the water runs into the Sydney Basin and fills all the catchment areas there. The other half of the water runs down the ridge the other way, goes underground and doesn't come out to get to the bottom of Australia, South Australia. So I work with the water and it's granite country um, and not far from me is a town called Oberon which is the king of the fairies so it's all granites and crystals in the ground. Um, it's amazing energy. I just feel very blessed to be here and there's an amazing story when we do the story on the healing centre I'll tell you the story how it, I got here and how the angels held and hid this place for me and held on to it. Yeah. But, um, Thank you, Sheila. I'm just in such deep gratitude. Um, yeah. 
Well, I'll tell you what the thing that uh, that Sheena has done for me uh, the most is she reminds me to call upon my on my angels, and and that's why and she's so good at this. And this is this is the thing about her healing center that uh, is just so her is that she designed and created it on another dimension first before anything is laid out. And as it's laid out, she did all these um, beautiful uh, prayers and rituals. And, and I mean, there is not one inch of that, of that, your, your barn and, and your whole land there that is not sacred. It's sacred in, in every, you know, level that I can think of. And with a kitty. And, uh, She's been right here in my face. She's been here with Sheila and myself. I didn't mean to interrupt you. But she's right here. I just didn't want her to put a paw up and you think that I'm wearing stretch clothing. <laughs> she <laughs> yeah. wants to be on the show. That's so cute. This is Angel. She's a Manx. Um, she was a rescue cat. She was found wandering around Surface Paradise. And she was born without a tail. <laughs> you little show off. Yes, yeah. a little show off. She's such, a, she's such a familiar, she's so funny, uh, but she has no tail. She looks like a rabbit. I have to walk. <laughs> she has no tail. Uh -huh. And she has an OM symbol on the side of her. Both sides have an OM symbol you can't see there. And she's telling me, no, I don't want to show the world my OM symbol. But uh, she's just gorgeous. Yeah, thank you, Sheila. I'm so sorry. We we just, our shows are very authentic and natural and um, right. and um, full disclosure. <laughs> Putting the cat's bum on camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. No, we, um, we definitely, whenever we work um, as light workers, we work in multi-dimensionally in different planes of existence. So uh, I'm consciously aware of the other planes, the other realms. And so to uh, uh, synchronise them and overlap them together is a lot of fun, um, a lot of joy, uh, a lot of surprises for people when they come and they, they'll discover something. They'll be sitting there and all of a sudden, especially for those that are able to see or feel, they will know there's something different there, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> but um, in the background, you can see Archangel Gabriel, the original painting. I've sent Sheila the one that I have in my app, which um, I paint them first and photograph, and then I do the graphics. Um, but we were going to talk about Archangel Gabriel today, <laughs> who always cracks me up. Please. <laughs> um, <clears throat> You know, angelic beings um, are not a specific uh, sex. They are neither male or female. They are what we call asexual. However, they can vibrate at a masculine or feminine vibration. So Archangel Gabriel, I sort of call him, uh, do you ever see the picture, Rocky Horror? Um, did you ever see Dr. Frankenfurter? <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Horror, um, uh, it's called, uh, he's a sweet transvestite. So um, <laughs> Archangel Gabriel can uh, present both masculine and feminine, uh, but very, um, very beautiful. Um, for me, because I'm such a feminine being, Archangel Gabriel comes in a more masculine form to me, but for many, Archangel Gabriel will be more feminine. Right. I've heard uh, both. I have yeah, exactly. There's no right or wrong. And ah. of course, we were speaking about how the archangels, uh, their consciousness can be everywhere simultaneously, as most beings can be in spirit. And they, um, they are gatekeepers to the very centers of consciousness that mankind might understand as the chakra system. And so Archangel Gabriel um, is the gatekeeper of what we call the brow center of consciousness. And he um, loves to work with the violet energy. And he's in charge of many, or guides, many artists, singers, songwriters, the real, the creative aspects in you. But I always get the giggles with Archangel Gabriel, Gabriel around. Um, he, he is, he reminds me of Prince. Really? 
Yes, he's such a profound being. Um, always uh, with creativity, with flair, with panache. Um, he and Archangel Uriel, of course, will have many debates because Gabriel can be quite um, expressive, whereas Uriel, as we know, is very calm. You know, but Gabriel will be just full of energy. <laughs> 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 so that's where we get that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I often, uh, Gabrielle will often present with me. Um, I, I, I don't get the wings with the angelic realm, um, that they just appear as you and I do for me. There's no right or wrong. Uh, I, I, angels have the ability to communicate with you telepathically and they will project because we as human beings, our brain is designed, the most extraordinary brain is designed to receive imagery and we think in languages and we speak in languages, whereas the angelic realm are pure love and light, which is a totally different language. So to communicate with us, they will project an image telepathically to us because they've got the ability to take all different shapes and forms because they're pure consciousness. Mm -hmm. So they'll project an image into our mind, which appears comfortable for us to think, oh, yes, that's Archangel Michael or Archangel Gabriel. Um, because I've painted and channeled for many people and they ask for various paintings. None of my paintings of Michael will be the same or of Gabrielle will be the same. It's not about me. It's about how the person sees that angel. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, Archangel Gabriel often appears to me <laughs> uh, dressed in a, like a French um, in Louis <laughs> with the wig <laughs> and the beautiful clothing and the boots, you know, the stockings. Mm -hmm. And he just does that. He does that for fun, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, but um, there's many layers to each of the archangels. You have your earthly archangels. You have your planetary. You have your solar system. You have your galactic. You have your cosmic. You have your universal. Like us, they have many aspects. Mm -hmm. and um, when I speak about angels and the angelics, it for me, it's got a, nothing to do with religion, although they're mentioned in religions and they're mentioned in many different cultures. Um, in the Buddhist tradition, they're called the Bodhisattva, the higher consciousness. So I'm just explaining that for those that don't know mm -hmm. our, our conversations. Yeah. So Archangel Gabriel will absolutely assist you if you have a creative project. Don't hesitate to call in Archangel Gabriel and give guidance. Um, if you're a writer, creative writing, uh, just adds that, um, that element uh, with great joy. <laughs> great joy, great laughter. Um, a true... A true um, inspiration um for inspirational energy um sometimes if i uh, can't think of how to do something um I've, I've got my own beautiful team and of course my higher self and i'm quite a creative being but sometimes i i won't be able to see something or get it and of course uh, gabrielle will be there uh, together with my team and we'll have a chat about it quite often i'll go to sleep and wake up in the morning i've always done this even as a child and i will absolutely have the answer right in my younger years um i i was in the fashion industry and I was a designer and I created patterns. I'm a pattern maker. Mm -hmm. And as a child, I would do jigsaw puzzles, but I wouldn't do them the way other people did. That was too easy. I would turn them upside down so I couldn't see the picture. <laughs> and I'd put them together just like that, boom, 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 boom. And that, that was too easy. So with pattern making, I'm able to look at a person and cut the pattern straight onto the cloth without having to put it on a dummy or anything. Mm -hmm. And sometimes my boss would give me quite difficult tasks to do in creating new designs and patterns. And I wouldn't know how to do it. I'd go home and I'd go to sleep and I'd wake up with the pattern, complete pattern in, in 
my mind. And I know that Archangel Gabrielle is one of those beautiful beings that guided me when I was younger to wow. assist me. Wow. I, I uh, always get the giggles around Archangel Gabrielle. It's like um, we would plan a party or we'd plan, you know, how can we, what can we do to, you know, um, get Archangel Michael or... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans. Yes, absolute shenanigans. But that, that's just me. That's just me and my relationship with Archangel Gabriel. I know that um, I work with water as well. And I know Archangel Gabriel was one of the beings that supported me. Um, I was given an assignment in spirit to guard one of the sacred wells in the gardens of Eden. And as an angel of Avalon, we, 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 we get up to stuff. We get a bit bored. And I was with some other angelic friends in, in spirit. And we were watching the waters of the well, which are like the spring of eternal life, which was really funny. And um, we were sort of daring each other, go on, have a drink. Go on, I dare you to scull it. So, yeah, of course I did, you know. Don't dare me. Oh. Good. So here I am going, they're going skull, 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 and I've got this big chalice and I'm drinking it. And all of a sudden their face changed and I stopped and I put it down. I said, Archangel Michael's standing right behind me, isn't he? And they're going, yes. <laughs> so it's one of the reasons I work with sacred water. Yeah. <laughs> but Archangel Gabriel suggested, well, we should assign her to the waters. She's drunk enough of them. <laughs> but um, it's very funny. Yeah, no, we, we often have, Archangel Gabriel will quite often give you a totally different perspective that you're not expecting. Um, Gabriel can give you um, a harmonic is the best way to describe it, a harmonic because he's so creative and she or he. Um, and there are uh, certain harmonics and he can change the essence of something by just, it's like tuning a violin. Right. And he'll give you a harmonic. And uh, that violet energy is quite unique in the spectrum of colour. Um, and I, I, it's different to purple because it has pink in it. It has that love. It has that joy in it, as you know, as an artist. So violet is something very different um, to work with. Um, different to purple um, and so the color itself has a consciousness mm -hmm. so tell me what is your experience with Archangel Gabrielle <laughs> well I think I just had one here uh, just like um, <laughs> last week <laughs> <laughs> I've been um, I have been told over and over again that my paintings were going to take off and there would be a lots of symbols involved yes. And, yes. and you're, you're even one of them that told me that. And I'm just like, oh, my God, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I, don't, I know it's in there somewhere, but I, I don't know where it is. And I'm, you know, I was just like, you know, well, I hope it, I hope it kicks in, you know. And, and, so, um, and so last week, well, I had been working with the in Trinity, uh, but people were sending me symbols. Okay. And I'm just like, Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. And, and, and I'm, you know, I'm just going along with it. But finally, finally, Mary sent me a symbol that did something. Yes. It just, like, it, like it just popped me open and it all came out. I started bawling my eyes out. I was so grateful because Everyone was telling me this was going to happen, and I was just waiting and waiting, and finally it did, and I was so filled with gratitude, and I felt like that was, that was the new creative push. Yes. That was the new opening of, of what I'm going to be doing, what I am doing now. I, I just started my other one, you know, and, and, it's, and, and I just like, oh, my God, I needed help. And I got it. And it was so wondrous. And I understood just clearly. I understood what I was supposed to do. It was amazing. Perfect. Perfect. Well, symbols are a language of light. Um, 
<clears throat> that they're an actual vibration. They, have, they hold a vibration to them. I always work with sacred symbols because for me, they're not one dimensional, they're multi dimensional. Mm -hmm. And in my paintings, there's always symbols first. Uh, because all my paintings are created an angelic stargate first before I even put a, the energy of that energy signature of that particular vibration there. Um, and so they're, 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 they're gateways. They're called windows from heaven. Um, but I always have, even on the back, I'll have a symbol which will represent a, the prayer for the amour of God, which is the love of God. Um, but the language of symbols is um, it's not the symbol itself, it's the, it is but it isn't. Uh, the symbol itself is, uh, just unlocks a, a, an energy for you, a memory. Um, and so do you know which, where it came from? <laughs> is it Syrian, the symbol? Do you know what it is? No. I don't know because... And that's another thing that's been going on in this last couple of weeks, or like, especially in this last week, I would get like, you know, I would get like an awakening and I wanted to like, you know, wallow in it for a little while. And then I would get the next one. And I'm like, what? I, <laughs> wait, I wasn't done with the other one. And they've just been no, no, so no, no. quick. And I want to just go in and just like play with it all, but it's just like just more and more and more. Yeah. You would you know, say what we call coding. Coding is changing um, new information coming in that you're going to process and bring into your conscious mind yeah. and different frequencies, uh, different connections. Um, I always sign my paintings for the six pointed star, which is the sacred geometry for the Merkaba, which is about love. So, to, but when I put that symbol in my paintings, it is a Merkaba in three dimensional, like it's not one dimensional. Um, it goes multi dimensional. It's very exciting. Do you remember Prince had his own symbol? That was his signature, that was his energy. Uh, that was where he came from. But he was well before his time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very unique uh, being, very beautiful star being. Um, yeah, so we're going to sing Purple Rain at my party because ah. on the 29th, yeah, we'll try and sing it for you when we do it on Skype. Because <laughs> um, the 29th, we're having the christening of the barn. <laughs> barn but it's actually Delphinia it's a temple but all the archangels are here they're all lining up ready to rock and roll with us okay. I'll, get, I'll get Archangel Gabriel to do purple rain with me <laughs> no kidding oh that's that's amazing but the symbol um have you have you ever as a child doodled your own little symbol uh, you've got it in you you've got your own energy signature which is the symbol that you can actually put with your paintings with your words down the bottom wow. you've got one i'm being told you've actually got one you've got a little symbol that you doodle when you're talking on the phone or when you you've got a little thing that you do um yeah it's huh. you it's got an infinity symbol in it they're saying have you got something with an infinity symbol wow uh, i i i you know, I've been working with the Trinity so yes. closely here lately. Um, you know, that's just something that I'll ask for some more uh, uh, clarity on that. Beautiful. It's very simple. They're telling me it's very simple. You, you've done that. You've used it through time and space. Excuse me one moment. I'll be a moment. <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> She's speaking to me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So Okay, um, so now um there's uh so the color uh for Gabriel is the violet. The um he's violet. a part of the brow center of consciousness. And all archangels can um channel and vibrate and project the entire spectrum. Um there's no one, there's no right or wrong. Um, like Archangel Gabriel can appear to you on the blue ray, which is for communication, or the green ray or the pink ray, which is heart. So I'm not saying Gabriel is that colour. I'm saying that Gabriel is the gatekeeper of that centre of consciousness, which is the violets, which is the brow chakra, oh, um, right. which is the creative centre as well. Right. Um, 
they, and Gabrielle forms part of the Council of Seven. And that's the, the ones that we're actually working our way through. Um, but no, I love Archangel Gabriel. And I, in the painting, um, I, I put him with the staff of knowledge and the all seeing eye. <laughs> like you can see it all, but we can see the creative structure and everything. Gabriel will work a lot with you with symbols. Um, Symbology is um, a beautiful way to express the language of light um, because it it represents an energy. It's not it's not a word. It, right. it's, it's like calligraphy in ancient times when the ancient masters did mm. calligraphy. They were actually weaving light and love, and it's very powerful. Calligraphy is a very very powerful energy. Um, um, so in the ancient times, in the Eastern cultures, um, each of their language was a character. It represented a whole concept. So a, a symbol is uh, a language of light. And it's, it's, it's because it takes it away from your brain having to think and it takes you out of that into your heart and into the energy mm. as you said the symbol just unlocked things mm. um, yes yes i had an extraordinary experience with a quite a unique being many many years ago that came to one of my healing centers one of my first healing centers and when i looked at this being she was spiritually covered in symbols everywhere mm. um energetic symbols everywhere and she was quite addicted to them, which was quite interesting. And it's, it's not the symbol itself, it's the intention behind the symbol. Um, and um, she didn't know how to clear herself of the symbols because she didn't want to. She didn't want to. She loved, she loved, them, loved them all. So she was a little bit like a um, collector. Mm. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing that. And... Um, Oh, wow, that was interesting. But when you travel through different dimensions, um, I have a unique symbol that is mine, which is me. And it's when you travel multidimensionally and you go through the gatekeepers, you usually show your your symbol or you you, um, you it's your pass. It's like your passport wow. to go through. They go, oh, yeah, we know you. Yep, we know you. We know this symbol. Uh, we know the signature. It's like a signature. Does that make sense? Yes, that's why I was so I was so emotionally affected by when I saw that that one symbol and and I I, I actually uh, have, I only saw it for a second and became emotional and yeah, and I haven't know. even gone back to address it. I just knew that it it was the key that opened me up and and um and i was i i mean i just knew afterwards it was just it was just so amazing you know these never get tiring <laughs> life is never boring <laughs> well consciously aware you know it's like you're human just being human is a mastery in itself without being a consciously aware human <laughs> that's a challenge and right. i admire the masters that are out there that um have chosen just to purely be on the boot camp earth journey that that is just extraordinary um you know how they get, do their life and how they are I, I just think our brothers and sisters are amazing each each and every one of them, my our brothers and sisters how they do their journey um because they quite often i don't know if you ever get this but um they quite often say to me sheena what drugs are you on <laughs> <laughs> and i go darling i don't need drugs i've always been like this it's like can we have some of that you know what are you on <laughs> on the blind, the blind i mostly room. i mostly just silence a room i'm a yeah I'm able to silence a room with one sentence. It's most powerful, really. And I don't know how to, how you, you. I just be. I just be. But symbols, um, they're quite profound. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> sorry. And you know, it's interesting because right now, um, as these times are changing, uh, creativity seems to be coming alive in a lot of people. 
I, I see people just, you know, they're just reaching out to, to all kinds of creative uh, um, projects. So that must make Gabriel very happy to. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, to be a divine being incarnated, one of the greatest joys is to be able to express our divinity through creativeness, whether it's creating a garden, creating a family, um, creating artwork, creating joyful things that other, cooking, you know, expressing yourself with love in all forms, you know, writing music, composing music, um, paintings, as you know, you and I love painting. So that love is expressed in the paintings themselves. Um, but um, I think you're going to have fun paint, you know, like the in Trinity itself, what Frederick did was beautiful to bring that activation in, in the in Trinity. Um, and to be able to paint that symbol with the energy of what it is so when other people stand in front of it they'll get the it'll unlock as you are unlocked so yeah. by having the experience that you're having you're now going to put those symbols into canvas um frederick can put them into three-dimensional which is just wonderful because that's his talent and gift um, you can probably do it with wire and um, because when I make crystalline grids, I wire strands of ethereal light. I don't know if you can see what's hanging from my ceiling everywhere. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Probably not. But there's crystals hanging from everywhere up mm -hmm. high. Uh, and I, I weave strands of ethereal light when I weave uh, copper wire together to make crystalline grids and strands mm -hmm. you can do the same but you have the ability to paint the three-dimensional uh, and you're, you're painting that symbol but that language of light in the canvas so I think you you're definitely going to add the symbols in um, with your painting work I can't wait to see and feel them I uh, I, j I had gotten a uh, CD cover gig and I put so many layers and symbols in that, and it was so much fun. And everything had such great meaning, and it was just so, it was just, you know, playing with energy, the whole, and um, making it so, I mean, that's what, you know, that's what's so cool about being creative as we are, is that, you know, we're playing with the energy. We're playing with the universe, and it feels so good your intention what you put into it um, yes. whenever I make a gift for somebody I always put a blessing in it specifically for them um, yeah so it's it's so much fun um, you, you we're, we're all very blessed and we can do it on a very small scale um, the one of the arts that I find so beautiful is um, um, this couple this topiary where they shape the plants which oh, is just yes. but there's the other one where they put layers and layers of paper to build up and make little cards oh it's just so gorgeous how they cut out tiny little shapes and layer them just some of the things that people do is just extraordinary well um so um as we have said with all of our shows with the angels, um, it's just a matter of getting to know and to ask and open yourself up to this energy. What, and, and, and because we're all such unique beings, as you said, it's, gonna, it, it's going to be a very personal relationship. And um, again, how can we, how can we, Give us a little exercise to, okay. to oh. fit and, and call <laughs> upon him. Um, there's an exercise that I, um, I created a matrix or a, a prayer that's called the Prayer for the Amor of God. It's in my website, which is just angelessenshouse.com, which is still under construction. I do apologize. But my prayer is also in my Facebook page, Angel Essence House. It's called the Amor of God, which is A M O U R E. I spelled it like that deliberately. The Amor of God is the love of God or the armor of God, which is the love of God, which God is however you conceive God to be. Yeah. And you call in the seven in this. Um, 
And Archangel Gabriel, you can use the Amor of God to call Archangel Gabriel and say hello, or you can just call Archangel Gabriel. And it's as simple as saying Archangel Gabriel. Um, I usually, I was taught by the angelic realm to say, I command your presence. Now I went, oh, I can't say command. You can't command an angel. And they said, you actually can and you should and you should say it like that because the word command with love that's the only way you can command an angel of the light is with love so you say it with your heart i command your presence and that's angelic language for saying i require and ask for your presence here and now um so there's nothing wrong with that but if you're not comfortable with that you can just say archangel gabriel would you join me please or would you be here please do what feels right for you um and archangel gabriel will usually come in on the left hand side again there's no right or wrong he might not come in you might not feel the energy on the left but that's where Gabriel usually comes in on the left there's a reason for that there's a left brain and a right brain the left brain it usually is um, controls the right hand side of the body, and the right brain usually controls the left hand side of the body. And so, right brain people are usually very academic, whereas left brain people are very creative. Yeah. So, yeah, there's uh, there's little reasons. So, but don't be concerned. So you just say. Archangel uh, Gabriel, I command your presence. So we're doing that now. And I ask Archangel Gabriel to step in and stand very close to you, Sheila. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all you do with um, angelic beings, of course, please do what feels right for you and what is comfortable is mm -hmm. say hello to them and acknowledge them. If you can't feel or see them, just say hello and thank you for coming and thank you for being here. And the simple process that I teach all the time is you just say to your guard, your guardian or Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, would you touch me so I recognise your touch, please? So just ask. <laughs> Are you doing that now? No. You can say it out loud or telepathically if they can hear you. <laughs> is, touch, 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 touch me. I, have, I, feel, I feel both hands right here on my neck. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Everybody will experience something different. There is no right or wrong. And please do not be concerned if you don't have an experience. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. It just means that you have different blessings and you might have the blessing of blind faith, which means you just know that that being is present. You might feel a sense of warmth. You might see a colour. You might feel goosebumps or tingles. Um, you, you might be shown a symbol that changes your life. <laughs> you might get a symbol. Yes, you might get a symbol. You might bring Prince with him to say hello. Purple <laughs> rain. <laughs> um. Yeah. When, when Prince sang, uh, sang that song, he was bringing the blessing of the violet and purple energy for everybody, which is transformational energy. Wow. He knew what he was doing. Uh, and there, that's why people felt extraordinary when he was there. He was bringing that energy. And his symbol was his energy, his yeah. symbol. Yeah. So perhaps now people might have more understanding of what Prince was bringing to the planet. Um, through through his love of music and yes. beautiful energy, yes. yeah, so many so, people just love him so much. Yes, absolutely. He brought that with him. He shared that with the world. Um, um, yeah. Uh, so, Archangel Gabriel, have you got a question to ask, Archangel Gabriel? <laughs> um, you know, I think we're about running out of time now, so we need to. Um, is there any other things that you can you can add? Uh, for people who want to um, begin their relationship, well, just ask Archangel Gabriel if they can, he can or she can guide them in their um, creative uh, endeavors um, and um, be open to it. Um, and remember to laugh and remember to have a sense of humor. And it is really simple, just ask. And of course, it's always nice to say thank you to them. And be in an attitude of gratitude where your heart is open. And, you know, they've always, they've actually had me doing some really crazy stuff. And it wasn't actually do it. It was more to make me laugh. And I was like, 
what are you guys doing? What am I doing this for? We don't know, but we're enjoying watching you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, my nose. Oh. Like they tickle my nose, yeah. You know, after our show uh, last week, I went online and found a YouTube that had like a prayer for Uriel and it had a picture and I had it on my computer and I had it in my art room as I was working on my painting and I felt like I was just bringing that energy in. And now you have cards or pictures at your website, right? Um. No, I have an app um, which is called Angel Essence. It's in Lifestyle. It's under Apple and it has all the archangels. It has the messages in them. So it's a deck of cards, of guidance cards, and it has music and it has spiritual protection for your phone. Um, I didn't make a physical set of cards. I made it. I was guided by Archangel Metatron. I woke up one morning. I'm lying in bed and the angels are around the bed. I'm going, good morning. And they're going, what are you guys doing here? And they said, make an app. And I went, yeah, sure. I'll just pull that one out of the air. <laughs> I'll make an app just like that, you know. <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> so it fell into place and I did because I'd asked a question how I could get this beautiful energy out to people. So um, you can also do what you did, Sheila. You were beautiful. You Googled and you found a prayer for Gabrielle mm -hmm. uh, or prayer for Uriel. You can find a prayer for Gabrielle if you mm -hmm. wish to do it like mm -hmm. that. Whatever feels right for you. Mm -hmm. Ask for guidance and it, it usually comes. Um, so if you go to um, Angel Essence in Lifestyle and you download the app, I'm not sure. I know it's less than um, $10 or something, um, but you've got it permanently in your phone and Gabrielle is in there and you can read about Gabrielle, what Gabrielle does, and you can also give yourself readings. You can also save the paintings as screensavers on the phone. So you can bring through the energy of Gabrielle. And I think I sent you the picture. I don't know if we can put yes. it up. I am. I think what I'm going to do is have it like maybe fade in and out of our show or something. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, yeah. that would be really cool. I could, um, I could send, I'll, I'll try and send you the pictures for each archangel. Yeah. Now, um, and then as I, as I edit the show and all that, I'm, I'm asking for that energy to be in, in, in my editing. Oh. Absolutely. He's there. He, this show, if you're sitting and watching this show, Gabrielle is present for you. Yes. Um, and yeah, just just tap into that and enjoy the violet energy. I've got violet everywhere today. Violet, violet, violet. <laughs> 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 and a little bit of pink just for fun. And yes. A fun. <laughs> yes. You little yeah. fashion girl, you. Oh, thank you, darling. Yeah, it's just because it's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> you know our weathers we're on opposite sides of the world but we're we're i'm going into my winter you're coming out of yours so we're, our temperatures are just about the same right now uh oh um yeah. you, up on the ridge it's it is very cold um so the night time it sort of does get down to three and four degrees <laughs> so nice. it's not zero anymore which is really nice right. uh, but i still i was a little bit chilly this morning so i got out of bed and went to the fireplace the cat was sort of as close as she could without uh, singeing her whiskers so i put extra wood on the fire just for her <laughs> and so she's got a little basket in front of the fire oh, nice. and then yeah, and I, I went and made some hot water bottles just for my feet because I thought, oh, I need to just warm up just a little bit. Yeah, mm, so. That's a good one. Well, I'm looking forward to um, our show where we're going to stream from here for my party on the 29th of October. Yes. You can see all my beautiful brothers and sisters that are coming from afar to share this christening with me. Um, mm. so we're going to do that. That's a special little show. It's <laughs> and there'll be, be fun. there'll be another guest that people aren't expecting. So hopefully that'll be fun too. Yeah, we, we really were going to try to get me over there for that party, but it didn't work out. But uh, but we've got technology, so I'm going to be there. We anyway. have, and we've also got um, next year. I'm going to make it an annual gathering in October because my friends just want to hang out so and mm. be which I'm so blessed. 
um, mm. they, they're amazing brothers and sisters um, and they've shared so much with me and allowed me to share their journey. I've just been so blessed. Um, and they're all what I call is space cadets. <laughs> oh, your best kids. Yeah, we're out there where the buses don't run. <laughs> right, right. Oh, my gosh. Well, okay. Uh, I will see you in a week. And okay, my uh, darling. Uh, I, was, I came into the planet in 1954. <laughs> awesome year. Awesome year. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, well, you have a, a lovely day today. Thank you, darling. Oh, namaste, and I love you so much. And thank you to all our beautiful, beautiful brothers and sisters that might enjoy our show. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us. From my heart to yours, namaste. Uh -huh. Namaste, darling. Bye.